How's it going? Mike here, The Fresh Rinse. This is episode five of our 2023 complete pressure washing rig rebuild. Today, we are going to discuss the ladder rack. In episode four, I welded all of the racks for all of the machines. So this is the rack, the 12 foot rack, that will house the eight machine, two hose reels, my box right there, which serves as the battery box and tool compartment, and also the uh, second double stack of 18 inch electric hose reels. And then this rack, which is mounted, will house the 10 gallon a minute machine, and this will be for the AR45. I am extremely happy with the paint. I do still need to paint here. Someone had made that suggestion for aesthetics, and I am gonna do that on both sides. A number of you had questions about the ladder rack, and I don't remember all of them, but I'm just gonna take a tour here and show you what I have. So I'm not gonna show you anything terribly up close because I'm ashamed of my welds. My father would always say, he would say, son, I wouldn't trust your welds to hold corn. I don't know what that means, but it definitely wouldn't hold water, but it does hold the machinery. So that's all that really matters. Let me begin by saying this is inch and a half square tubing. Again, schedule 40 is what I think that it is. I don't know if that's what they call it in square tubing. I know they do in pipe, but this is a little heavier gauge. And I got that at the Alro Metal Outlets here in Cincinnati. I have everything bolted to the trailer. Everything is bolted to the trailer. And I do that for two reasons. One, stability. I'm just not convinced that welding it to the trailer is the best option for stability. Secondly, if I ever want to remove anything, I can, and I use stainless bolts, screws, and washers uh, to uh, ensure that they're not going to rust. Now, someone is going to ask about the process. I'm going to go through this the best that I can. I did not weld my rack outside the rig, then put it in the rig. Oh, nay, nay. What I did was I got this trailer as level as I could, and then I began on one of these corners, and I bolted this in place, did the same thing on all four corners, and then took my measurement. And then I loosened the bolts to make sure that everything was right before I tightened it down. I have everything as square as I know how to get it, not being a metal worker and certainly not a welder, but, you know, it suffices. Also, having measured out my eight machine, my stack hose reels, toolbox, then my other stack hose reels, measured those out where they needed to be, and then put my uh, stabilizer bar here, if you will, uh, where it needed to be, and it worked out perfectly. So I don't know if there's much more to be said about ladder racks. So let's talk about signs real quick. I get this question a lot about my signs. First of all, let me say these are money makers. You can't advertise too much, but you can have too much advertisement. I would encourage you to be minimalistic with your advertising. People want to know what you do and how to reach you. You'll notice on my truck, for instance, Mike's pressure washing, the phone number. I personally believe that a list of services, there's just too much. The only list of services I have are right here, and that's if I'm not pulling the rig. But I believe minimalistic is the best approach. The measurements here are 10 inches. I have 10 inches here, and it will just barely fit in my garage, but I would have to prop the door up. Male lady. Male lady? Is there such a thing as a male lady? There's a term for that. 10 inches by the length of the, the trailer from the insides, right? From the inside of the trailer to the inside of the trailer. I will have another rack here or tray, which will hold my 31 inch mini Mondo flat and then the rails or, you know, the handle will lean up against this and be strapped as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rack the holder for the 19 inch surface cleaner. The surface cleaner goes vertically into here. This actually, I wanna show you this real quick. If I can, one-handed. All right, see how this, these little things here, this, those are factory. 
I built this to slip right into there perfectly. Never, ever, ever have one problem with this. But you can imagine, it goes in here like this, and then it leans up against the sign here. I made this like a hinge. So you can see this. It's the same on this side. And then it goes in here like this. Just like such. All right. Just like that. All right. I'll get a picture of that and throw that in there so you can see what that looks like with the um, with the surface cleaner. There you have it. I want you to notice this. All right. So when I when I built this in June of twenty June of twenty yes June of twenty I built this and you can see that I used. Uh, Self-tapping screws, thinking that was more than enough. Well, look, it's not. The vibration uh, will not hold the sign. What I did already with this side is I went all the way through. See there? Went all the way through with stainless bolts. So I have stainless bolts, screws, or uh, um, uh, nuts and washers. And I'm going to do the same on this side. I got these aluminum sheets. They're two. I, we're we're going to call those six feet a piece. Two, uh, six feet by 10 pieces of aluminum. And they're probably uh, about an eighth of an inch. Got those at my metal outlet as well. And then I wrapped them myself. I just ordered vinyl, put that on there, cut these out, cut the letters out with the Cricut machine. And uh, I did my own wrapping. So, same with this sign here. This is, uh, it's not quite an eighth of an inch. More like three sixteenths. I don't know what the gauge is for that. That's an aluminum plate. And then as you know, I do all of my own marketing. I make vinyl ban banners and then um, I just secure those when I secure the um, the actual aluminum and then I use zip ties as well in the middle and it holds fine it's dirty right now where I had that laid down but real quickly this is Carlton's rig for 2023 he's excited tomorrow Brian Lucas from soft wash pros of Hamilton Ohio is going to come help me uh, install the two machines the eight machine and the eight machine and the ten machine and then the um the hose rails. Heavily considering getting a new box for aesthetics. I tried to clean it up, just couldn't clean it up. Right here, I'm gonna have a picture of Joe Deary because I think everyone wants a picture of Joe. All right, tomorrow's episode, Lord willing, we'll, uh, we'll be um, installing the machines and the passenger side equipment here, yeah. All right, I rambled, but I'm excited. Mike, the fresh rinse, and I'm out.